30 in the morning. I'm going to say, light up. Don't have time for this. So annoying. That's what happens when you have a client at 7 versus 6 a.m. The lineup is way longer. Can I go just get in there? Can I know? Hi, can I get a medium Americano? Medium Americano? Yeah, that's all. Anything else? That's all, thank you. What's up, guys? So for today's Fall in Love with Fitness workout, I changed things up a little bit. I decided to do a bit more of a plyometric agility type workout. Still a really great workout for the lower body, really full body. So you'll see I go through a variety of movements using the BOSU ball, trying to transition from each exercise to the next with limited to no rest, trying to keep that heart rate up, doing a bit more of a cardiovascular type workout. Again, it's really good to mix things up. You don't ever want to be doing the same thing twice. Um, sometimes you just got to take a little bit of a break from doing the heavier lifting stuff and mix in these types of workouts. Really good for dynamic overall strength too. So take a look at the exercises, write them down, make some notes, and trying to run through these for three to four rounds as quickly as you can going exercise to exercise. You can use this as a full on workout or if you want to, you can use this as your warm up. Up to you and depending on what you're training, um, either or is a good option. Clearly just depends on where your fitness level is at. You'll see in a few of these exercises I do have some modifications to make it either more challenging or less challenging. Um, a good rule of thumb with a lot of exercises of this style is that if you want to work a little bit harder and get a bit more of a sweat, do the motions a little bit faster trying to get through them a bit quicker. If you're not as conditioned or you find you get out of breath quickly, just slow it down and limit the range of motion. That's going to be your best bet to get through this type of workout. All right, guys, enjoy.
one more chance. It's so hard to see this view of this car. We're going to get one more chance. iPhone 7. Finally up my Apple game. And I got it before you did. <laughs> Alright guys, so for today's fall in love with fitness recipe, uh, you'll see me here struggling trying to cut open a kabocha squash. Now during the fall, it's really easy to get a lot of great different varieties of squash. Now, I know we're all used to the spaghetti squash and the butternut squash, so I picked this guy up because I really wanted to try it. I've never tried one before and I've heard really great things about them and they have a lot of great nutritional compositions to them as well. And um, in addition to that, it is a lower carb option in that you get a lot of squash for a low amount of carbs. So to cook this guy, I, after I cut it open, took all the seeds out. Now keep the seeds because you can make some, uh, they're not pump, I was going to say pumpkin seeds, but you can make some kabocha seeds. Um, very similar to a pumpkin seed. Um, great little snack. And I'll show you guys how to do that at the end. So cut it open, uh, scoop out all of those seeds. And then you're going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And then we're going to take some coconut oil, uh, coat the insides of the various pieces that we're going to cut off of the kabocha squash with the coconut oil. And we're just going to season it with some pink salt and pepper. So very basic seasoning, nothing too crazy. And you're going to get so much squash uh, from this. 